In this session, we continue working with our interactive tools, and we're going to take a look at the extrude tool in CorelDRAW. This is a dynamic, very powerful tool for extruding objects and adding bevels to them. I'm going to go ahead and scroll out here, and we'll scroll in. First, we'll start with just some basic text. And I've got this text set up as extrude tool with a sports font on it. We'll zoom in and bring this right into the center. You'll find the extrude tool over here down by blend and right down here above transparency. Once you've changed that tool, you'll notice the properties bar changes again. You can left click, hold down, and create an extrude. Now if I go ahead and click on gray here, that'll apply the color. Now once I've done that, there's some things up here in the properties bar that I want to be aware of. I can add highlighting and shading to this. If I add that, you'll see that Corel adds depth by highlighting and shading being applied to the extrude and I can change the intensity of that and bring that down or bring that up and you can see the changes that occur there. I can add several different light sources and do adjustments on them as you can see right there. Next thing I want to look at is the extrusion bevel and I'm going to click on use bevel and that will apply a bevel to my extrude and I can interactively adjust that here as you can see or I can adjust that with the numbers here's your bevel depth here's your bevel angle right there now once I've applied an extrude like this there's also some additional options available through my mouse clicks I can cl double click on this and I'll get a different tool and I can actually tilt and rotate this bevel as you can see here and then I've got some interactive tools I've got a slider here that'll let me change the depth of my bevel if I left click and hold and drag that that will change the depth of my bezel very powerful interactive extruding tools here in draw now if I want to see just my bevel I can come up here and click on show just bevel and the extrude will go away and I'll see just my bevel now here looking at my depth I probably want to bring that down a little bit and you can see how that affects my graphic I might want to bring my bevel depth here down a little bit as you can see there and that's going to change you can see how it changes here also and I might want to pull this back here a bit and you'll see if you go too far it will destroy your graphic you can't go way back like that so I have to bring this way back down into like 39 and it'll apply and then I can left click hold and pull this up and say 43 and that will apply very powerful interactive tools we also have some colors here that we can work with and we have an interactive tool here that we can use that will be applied to our bevels also now I prefer to go through this tool here that's interactive and directly in the Corel Draw workspace now in our last session we saw that we created some stars and we'll go ahead and work with those stars and make a really cool star bevel effect kind of like it's spinning around go ahead and select all of this, I'm going to ungroup all, I'm going to combine I'm going to fill this with a light gray, I'm going to right click take the outline off and I'm going to right click and put a black outline on it and I'm going to make my graphic bigger because I like to work with my objects being a little bit larger when I'm extruding. I'll left click just drag here and make this straight now you can see these stars are coming straight at me. I'll go up here to let's say my bevel here and I'll click use bevel and I can zoom in here click off and we'll zoom in and I can dynamically change that just like we saw earlier and just give that just a little bit more bevel too much there right there. Now I'm going to go ahead click off zoom out I'm going to click on here again and I'm going to go ahead and tilt this and then I'm going to come down here and slide the depth of my bezel right up to there now I've got a really cool star graphic or design asset that I could use to add to a design or a graphic that I'm working on when you're done you can simply right click and select break bevel extrude group apart you could go and fill this with a black and your extrude would look black. You could go in here, we can select ungroup and fill these with a white 
and we've got a really cool star graphic that we set up. So we'll go ahead and end here with the extrude tool. That's just an introduction, but you can take some time to experiment with that and build some of your own really cool graphic design assets working with things like the blend tool and the extrude tool.